Horror Theatre presents Write like your life depended on it. I want to write more than just a couple of hundred words. I want to write an epic novel. But every day as I sit at my computer, only these minuscule stories come out. Always dark, never showing the greatness of the world we live in. Just the scariness. I drop my head into my hands in my office at my home. My word document, just a few words full, knowing I failed yet again. Ding! I turned around and saw beside me an old typewriter in a bin. My grandmother's Mars. Why was that heat there? I thought they'd thrown it out. She was such a famous writer. Her stories are still sold and give me this life I didn't deserve. I hesitated, swallowed, picking it up and placing it down on the desk before me. I could see that it had one sheet of paper in it and something stored away too. I typed the first letter, I... I had to make sure I didn't I hadn't made a mistake. I began typing more, some more words, and they suddenly began spilling out of me. They hurried out of the building. No time left as she turned to him. He smiled, relieved. I couldn't believe it. I didn't even notice the hours run by as I kept refilling it with more paper. But then, when I wanted to stop for the day, so he realized something. I couldn't. Her fingers literally would not leave the typewriter. They started to bleed at the finger tips. My body starving, my eyes widened. Stop! I screamed, trying to look away from the paper I was writing on, but I couldn't stop myself. The red blade into the words, so suddenly the ink was no longer ink, but red, slippery blood, mine, draining out my fingers into printed words on the sheet. And the writing, it got scarier and scarier. Don't you think you deserve to be a writer? Do you know the pain or the die what, or for what you say? You're crap, garbage, shit. Ah, I screamed, feeling so very weak, try to type the end, but couldn't. Living off the fame of a woman who did everything for you. Who do you think you are, Ben? Who do you think you are? Suddenly felt like typewriter was on fire. I screamed, I begged, I tried to pull away, but I couldn't. I was stuck. In his hell. But the time in my life where well, I hadn't didn't have writer's block to stop me. And it was no longer me writing. It was a typewriter possessing me. I wrote for some for hours more, no one checking on me, no one caring before at last. When one thousand words have been hit, I type stop living a dream where you think that your words really matter. They don't. You'll never write again. Never 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 I typed the end. I stopped. Suddenly dropped, drooped forward. My head had hit in the corner of the metal typewriter. And blood streamed slowly out, my, out of me. Dead.